my name is Siraj and today you are watching another episode of In Canada and we are going to discuss a very hot topic which is called immigration. We are talking about uh, express entry, no, not at all. PNP, not at all. Lima, no, uh, no Lima, no investor program and nothing else. We are talking about a very exciting program. It's not new. It's very, uh, it's, you know, it's not discussed a lot. We have not discussed or somebody have not discussed a lot, but yes, it's present. It's in process and that program is called AIPP Atlantic Immigration Pilot Program. Nowadays, uh, nowadays it's a very hot program. What it is, it's basically a partnership between the Canadian government and the provinces, Atlantic region provinces of Canada. What are those provinces? It's uh, Nova Scotia, New Brunswick, Prince Edward Island, Newfoundland and Labrador. So, oh, and what's the need of this program? <clears throat> basically what happens when new immigrants land here in Canada, we all, like all new immigrants, they prefer Toronto, Vancouver and uh, Calgary, like all famous cities. And uh, we try to live there, we try to work there and ha eventually what happened, the jobs are scarce, the jobs are getting less and less and uh, it's a big disbalance. The population is getting more in these areas. On the other hand, uh, the side provinces, uh, the employers of these provinces, they are uh, they are not having enough employees. They are not having suitable employees, and the the gap is getting big. So that's why this plan this plan has been launched between with the partnership of Canadian government and these provinces, uh, the with the employers of these provinces. These employers are called uh, designated employers, uh, and just to uh, just in, in short, who, who are designated employers. There is a set criteria. Not every employer is considered to be a designated employer. So these uh, the the employers who fulfill these criteria, they are said to be the designated employers, and uh, they can give you the job offer. And why I'm talking about job offer? Just stick with me. Just after a few minutes, we'll be discussing about the importance of job offer. So let's discuss uh, the categories of AIPP Atlantic Immigration Pilot Program. There are three categories. Number one, Atlantic High Skill Program. Number two, Atlantic Intermediate Skill Program. Number three, Atlantic International Graduate Program. Category number one, just according to the name, it's for professionals. Atlantic High. I'm talking about Atlantic High Skill Program. This program is basically for management people, for uh, professionals uh, who, who are having one year of uh, professional experience. Uh, the education uh, level required is 12th grade, uh, intermediate, you can say. The IELTS score, the best part of this program is very less IELTS score is required. Oh, in reading, writing, listening, speaking, you all need in reading like 3.5, writing 4, listening 4.5 and speaking 4. And the people who have given the IELTS test, test, they know that this score is very less. Especially if you are a professional, if you are, a, if you you know fall in this program, this score is nothing. In addition to this, uh, the total fee of this program, uh, the duration of this program is also very less. It's also very affordable. Let's talk about the fee. The total fee of this program that. Uh, you can see the applying fee of this program is 1040 Canadian dollars and the duration is it starts from six months to one year I was in start I have talked about uh, talked about the job offer and the designated employers why it is important this program is based on job offer until unless you don't have the job offer you will not be uh, you, you you are not qualified for this program now the question is here, how we'll get the job offer. So stay connected. I'll be discussing about the job offer. So let's talk about the next category. So let's discuss about the next program, which is Atlantic Intermediate Skills Program. In this program, you is the first of all, the compa in comparison to that program, the first one, it is easier than that program. In this program, you also need a job, a simple job with three years of experience. Education level is 12th grade, like intermediate and you need an IELTS score, the same IELTS score which we have discussed in the first program that is reading 3.5, writing 4, listening 4.5 and spe speaking 4. The fee of this program is also 1040 Canadian dollars. The du duration, the time period required is 6 months to 12 months. And again, a job offer is mandatory. 
job offer is the most important part however let's just uh, uh, before discussing the job offer let's discuss about the third uh, part of this uh, program or you can say the third category of this program which is in atlantic international graduate program cut it short this program this category is basically for international students the you need to have a degree a diploma from a public school a recognized public school of canada uh, you need to do a, you need to have a degree from that school At least you uh, you should be the you should be uh, living 16 months to 2 years in 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 canada and then you can apply for this program the other uh, two requirements are same same ielts score and same fee and then you can apply this let's talk about the job offer which is very very important not every employee can give you the job offer for this program at this point let me be very clear that this is no, i'm not talking about a lima i'm not talking about a work permit something like that this is totally a separate uh, uh, a stand alone program it it has nothing to do with uh express entry it has nothing to do with pnp it has nothing to do with other programs it's a totally stand alone program aipp atlantic immigration pilot program and okay coming back to the to- uh, coming back to the job uh, job offer issue job offer topic you can say hey, yes i know this is the issue so i will provide you in the description all those designated employee who can give you the job offer all those uh, employers are based in these four provinces <clears throat> which are nova scotia prince edward island uh, newfoundland and labrador and new brunswick so what you need to do you need to call them you need to approach them go to their website talk to them see what vacancies they have and then apply to those vacancies you can mention in your uh, cover letter uh, with the resume that you are applying uh, for the aipp program and uh, even you can you can just talk to them you can email them you can correspond with them and e- openly tell them that you are applying for aipp and if they are willing to uh, give you the opportunity to come and work here they should know that that you are applying in the program of aipp obviously they also know because they are a designated uh, employer they also know the whole process so it will not be uh, you know uh, the communication will not be a, a difficult thing you will tell them whether it could be yes or no you don't need to explain the whole process that what they need to do and what you need to do so it's it's well understood by both uh, especially for from the employer side <clears throat> so this is this was the important point uh, of the uh, about the job offer and uh, we'll provide you all the links uh, in 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 the description of this video uh, through these links you can uh, go to the job banks of uh, every provinces and there you can apply you can see the uh, designated employers and uh, you can contact them again you can email them call them talk to them and uh, check their website by all means so obviously you know it's it's uh, i'll say that uh, immigration is a all in all it's not about applying or doing only ielts it's a big process so you need to be you need to be active you need to uh, to have a to do attitude right anyway apart from this the next uh, stage is you should be having enough finances uh, if you are alone if you are having family like a spouse and kids you need to have enough finances so that you can uh, you can have your family when you have your family here you land here then you can start to resume your life according to the according to the weather or according to the conditions <clears throat> those finances are required finances i'm talking about uh, the mandatory finances are not that much uh, that much higher especially uh, you know people are worried uh, the people who are pursuing the express entry program they are really worried about the finances so in this program you don't need that much high finances i'll give you the, the link in the description on which you can easily see how much finances you need according to the number of your family members uh let's talk about what, uh, the uh, settlement plan settlement plan is also uh, you can say a part of a uh, program but it's uh, totally uh, free uh, okay what is a settlement plan 
they want or you can say the canadian government want you to give a plan that how you will come here where you will start like uh, from which house or basement the whole settlement plan how you'll resume resume your life here or start a new life here you should be having a complete plan apart from job offer but yes two important things your employer can support you about how to make a settlement plan plus there are a lot of non-profit organizations who support you a lot for 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 uh, for making this uh, settlement plan so i recommend you as i have already recommended you in a couple of more videos that research is very important do your research before uh, doing anything or while doing everything do your research for your settlement plan they will help you a lot how to make a settlement plan this is free of course those organizations don't charge anything so take the benefit even these are organizations the non-profit organization they also help you uh, about uh, uh, about settling in different communities how to interact with your uh, with your own community the community your uh, which speaks your language your religion all in all so they are very helpful helpful take the benefit <clears throat> at the end i'll just say that it's a very good program need your positive attitude positive energy nothing is easy in this world you need to search the i'll give you the list of designated employees you need to contact them get the job offer and then pursue uh, the uh, this program aip at this uh, at this point i will also recommend you try to talk to a consultant try to pursue your consultant or any good consultant because in all immigration plans there are some sort of technicalities not some there are a lot of technicalities uh i i don't want you to mess with your you know with your uh, dream and uh with this program so talk to your consultant try to get the job offer until unless you'll not get the job offer all in way you cannot do this so job offer is important i will give you the link i'm i'm why i'm again I, I, you know you see i'm try to tell you i'm trying to tell you that job offer is important i'll give you the link next is your you know you need to do the work next is your time so take yourself till the time for the next video uh, stay connected don't uh, forget to subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon we are planning to have a lot more new videos about the new plans and new programs uh, possibly launching in this uh, fall in the winter season of uh, this year winter season so stay connected don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon take yourself baba nikol saraj in canada subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon you can write us uh, your questions and the confusions on in.canada@idlemarketing.net you will find the link in the description and thank you very much for watching the video stay connected subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell icon take care me call siraj bye, -bye.